Y'all ready to see some quality cables? Ooh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a pair of sleeve extension cables. Let me tell you what. These are phenomenal. Very good quality cables. And I actually have um, a cheaper brand of cables that I've been using. And I want to show you the difference between a cheaper brand and a more expensive brand. So this is the cheaper one. Uh, you can see how the cables are just kind of loose. You can tell by the thinness of them. They're not very thick. Uh, the plastic here doesn't feel like very good plastic. It actually feels kind of thin and cheap. And then on top of that, the overall, just the overall feel and quality to this cable is not very good. It just, it feels like it's a fairly cheap cable. And it was. An entire set of cables for this was about 25 bucks. These, on the other hand, were a lot more money. These were about 50 bucks. Um, and I'm actually really impressed with them. They're colorful mod extension cables and I will leave the link in the description for you guys. So look at these. Just look at them. See the quality in them already? See how the cables are a lot thicker? How this, I mean this just has some good weight to it. Look at the plastic. The plastic looks thicker. See what I mean when you compare when you compare the two? See the the cable? Like, hold on, let me see if I can't try to get it. Like, see the difference in the size of the two cables? It's quite a bit. This the one on my right's thinner than the one on the left, which is the black one. That's the newer one. I mean, see what I mean? How the cables are all kind of just loose. And then for this, it's nice and tight very good quality here um, let's see here here's the side see what I mean you can really see the thinness in the plastic versus this one very thick heavy duty and it's very important too because I talked about how your power supply is literally one of the most important components in your computer well the next most important thing will be the power delivery. How do you get the power to the CPU, to those pins? And then we got all these. This is nice. I like the thing that it came in, like a nice black box. There's the rest of the cables. And of course we have the, the combs that came with them. But these are, these are great, man. What a great pair of cables. I'm really impressed with them. So, but yeah, you need that, if you have a good power supply and you want good, good power going to them, then you're going to need a good, thick, gauged, well, extension cable, something like this. I mean, that's real thick, a lot thicker than the one I've been using. Um, this is probably for a CPU or a GPU, I'm not exactly sure, but I also like the color of them. The black and blue combination, that looks great, and it's made out of 550 paracord. Um, they're gold plated, meaning that the inside of them here is gold plated, which is a very nice feature to have. Can't go wrong with that. These have no plating in them. They're just standard pins. You know, just nothing exciting going on there. Just standard pins versus these that are gold plated. And you can really tell that because they really shine. When the light hits them, they almost look kind of silverish, but no, this is just gold plated. Man, I can't get over just the sheer difference. I know you get it's hard to say with the camera here, but boy, just just looking at it is quite the difference. I mean, you can see how much thinner and this is. I mean, look look at the difference. Nice and thick and thin, and then these are soft and limpy. That's because they're a lot thinner. I think that these are probably, I don't know, maybe like a 20, maybe an, an 18, 20 or an 18 gauge, and these are probably like a 16 gauge. 
I mean that's a pretty thick wire and that's good because you need a lot you need that thickness and that quality to handle all that current that you're moving through the computer so if you guys want good quality cable extenders man I will definitely leave that link below these were uh, these actually are on sale from time to time they'll drop the price down to like 35 40 bucks when they get down to like the last couple of them um, I think I paid about 45 bucks for these so I mean they're nothing like cable mod extenders you know but let me tell you what I have a pair of cable mod the real expensive ones and these these I if you handed these to me and told me these were cable mod cables I wouldn't even question you just because of the quality and the thickness that's in them I mean it's just they're very nice I cannot wait to build my system with all of this cool stuff so there's not too much I can say about them guys uh, I think I kinda spoke my piece about them uh, we're going tomorrow to pick up our CPU and then the computer case will be here Thursday and then we'll start building this thing so I hope you guys like it please leave me a like and subscribe and as always, you guys be cool, and we'll see you guys in the next one. And I will leave the link in the description below for these cables. If you want to get a set of your own, they do come in different colors. You guys be cool. On a side note, um, I have my GPU water block here, right? And you can see there it says Strix. But I was looking at, let me grab it, here it is. I was looking at the cable, and I was like, oh, shit. How am I going to power this? So, I scoured the internet and I found this on eBay. This was supposed to come with one, but it didn't. Um, so I bought one, all right? And then that terminates to a five pin, just 12 volt. So how am I going to power that? Well, I can either put it on the motherboard or you can buy this cool little kit that I found. Check this thing out, right? Look at that. It takes 5 volt and 12 volt. Well, the cooler part about it is, is that it terminates. It terminates to a SATA, which is cool. But the part that's even cooler was this thing comes apart, right? Like that. See, now it becomes so much more of universal because that's just a regular like telescope plug it would just it'll power off of anything and then now this I can power anything that that accepts um, this type of connector I can power it using SATA now so I have like extra things with when I bought the kit, you see what I'm saying? Like they, they serve extra purposes. Well, anyway, I want to see if I can light up the water block using this real quick. And I don't have uh, a SATA plug right now to, I don't have a SATA right now to run this off of, to power this. But what I do have is one that I use for my LED lights. Oh, sweet. Let's see here. Pull that out because we don't need that no more. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be so cool. Here, let's turn the lights off. You have to admit, it is sexy. Oh, is it gorgeous. That just screams master race doesn't it go big or go home let's see let's change some of the colors on it oh hell yeah oh I like that 
Oh, that looks cool too. Yeah, red looks good. That's white. Let's see here. What else have I got? Blue, pink, green. Eh, don't give me too many options, but that's okay. Man, that looks awesome. Yes, sir. I can't wait to build this thing. Y'all make sure to leave me a like and subscribe. I think I already said that, but y'all get the picture.